Hey, what's up? This is Rodney and I'm back and I wanted to talk about candy. Um, you know, from the Real House Laws of Atlanta. So she's uh, she's having a, or she had a uh, sex party. Like, a, not a sex party. I shouldn't say sex party. Because, girl, you know, some of the girls, when we say sex party, girl, I got to tell y'all the story. One time I really went to, oops. One time I went to a real sex party. Well, this is years ago. I never do, and I never been to another one. Them sex parties, baby. I went to a gay sex party, like a real sex party. Well, when you walked in, you had to take your clothes off. I'm gonna make a story. I'm gonna tell y'all about that another day, cause girl, them people in there, girl, I be, I went one time and I ain't been back ever since. That was too much, too much for me. Do you hear me? But you know how you be thinking you, you know how you think you a freaky person until you realize, bitch, you really ain't freaky. Your sex probably just boring regular sex. Cause them motherfuckers that was in that party, that was on some shit. Do you hear me? Anyways, uh, she had a, it was a, a dungeon party. Um, but you know, uh, people, you know, I don't know how the men dress, but you know, the girls basically put on lingerie, uh, you know, revealing outfits. And... You know, some people on social media have been in their feelings. Oh, she too old for that. She needs to act like a mama and a wife. And look, there is nothing wrong with someone. If you want to walk around here dressed like Aisha Curry, ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's how you want to dress. If your man wants you to dress like that and you choose to dress like that, then baby, go on and let your man tell you how you're supposed to dress. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you can knock down the next bitch on how she chooses to dress. Now, I'm not going to lie. There have been times where I have looked at people, you know, girls. And, you know, I remember one day I was at work. <clears throat> one day I was at work. And these two girls were walking by. And they had on some short shorts. Basically, they ass cheeks was hanging out. And I was like, girl, where are y'all? It was like 1 o'clock in the evening. Girl, where are y'all going? It's one o'clock in the evening, bitch. You know, I've seen girls, you know, walking through the gallery with cats, body suits, like body suits, straight up like tight body suits and throwing chills. And I'd be like, girl, where are you going? Girl, it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Girl, where are you going? So I'm not, even when I look at Kim Kardashian, a lot of, I've had conversations with my sister before, like, girl, that's a lot. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'll be like, Kim, girl, where are you, girl, it is one o'clock in the evening, girl, you have on a see-through shirt and some five-inch heels and a mini skirt. Like, where are you going? So, I'm not gonna lie, sit here and say that I don't, like, have a side eye, but I'm also not gonna be on that train of telling somebody how they need to dress because, oh, now you have a title, you should dress this certain way. And the majority of the people that are saying that women should dress a certain way is either coming from niggas who still dress like they in middle school. Can't no nigga tell nobody how they need to dress when they ain't even got a pair of motherfucking dress shoes. Half of these niggas running around here 30, 40, and 50 got 237 pairs of tennis shoes and not one pair of dress shoes and not one suit. And you want to tell your wife, well, you need to dress like this. You need to respect me as a wife. Nigga, you still look like you in the seventh grade. Any nigga who waiting in line for Jordans ain't got no business telling nobody how the fuck they supposed to dress. Any nigga who ain't got one suit. You got niggas out here who have a tennis shoe collection and got one pair of black dress shoes and think that they on a, that, and think they the shit. Nigga, are you serious? You a grown ass man with one pair of dress shoes? If you don't sit your ass down somewhere. And then the women who are always talking about, oh, these women, they dress like this and dress like this. Why are you worried about these women? You need to be worried about why when you and your man go out, your man is looking at that same woman who he told you not to dress like. You need to worry about why your man trying to holler at the bitches that dress like Keisha K. Or and the bitches who dressing like Candy at the party. Because when your man cheat on you, he not cheating on you with the bitch who got the turtleneck and the jeans on. He cheating on you with the bitch who got on a mini skirt and a five inch heels. The same way you used to dress, when your man met you, he met you dressing that way. But now all of a sudden because he with you, he wants you to stop dressing that way. And y'all say, that say that's not control issues. Baby, that's, that's, that's control issues one on one. How can you meet somebody dressing a certain way that all of a sudden when you get with them, oh, 
it's not good. This is not good. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't dress this way. I remember one time I was. This was when me and my sister lived together. Hold up. This is when me and my sister lived together, and my sister was about to go out. And my be one of my best my best gay guy friend was at our apartment. We was we was about to go out too later on that night. You know the straight people, y'all go out early, girl. You know the gays. Girl, we don't make it to the club until 1.45. And that's because the bar closed at 2. Okay? So anyways, my sister was going out. And when my sister walk, uh, walked out the room, my uh, friend was like, okay. And so my sister walked out. And she left. She was like, okay, I'll see y'all. You know, see y'all later. And he was like, you going to let your sister wear that to the club? Now, my, my sister just had on a mini skirt. I think I remember she had on a mini skirt. Um, remember back in the day remember back in the day when short blue jean jackets, the jackets that stopped right here used to be in style. She I remember she had on a mini skirt and a short blue jean jacket and some high heels. And the skirt was kinda short. But other than that, she was pretty much covered up. To me she was. And even if she wasn't, like I told my friend, my sister is grown. Like my sister is a grown ass woman. Well, I might not like what she have on, what the fuck I'm gonna say? Bend her over on my lap and tell her she not like, lock the door? Tell her she not going nowhere? No. My sister's going to be all right. My sister's going to be all right. And what she got on, ain't nothing wrong with it. Even, and even if something was wrong with what she had on, what am I going to do to a grown-ass woman? Like, literally, what am I going to do? Lock the door? Tell her she can't go nowhere? My sister is grown. My sister about to graduate from college. Like, what the fuck? And I feel like that's another thing too, like what people need to be concentrating on is stop telling these women what to wear and get onto y'all motherfucking sons on how to treat women. That's the biggest that's the biggest thing in this picture. Y'all always want to tell women how they should dress, what they should have on. You a wife, you a mother. Like what the fuck does that being a wife and a mother got to do with anything? You should be teaching your daughters to embrace their sexuality, honestly. Because the truth of the matter is, the same way you threw your legs in the air for the niggas who you threw your legs in the air for, your daughter's going to do the same motherfucking thing. Stop telling these girls, oh, because now you're a wife and a mother, you got to dress this way. But when you're not a wife and a mother, it's okay for you to have hoish ways. What? That don't even make no sense. It's okay for you to dress this way when you ain't. Bitch, me dressing a certain way don't have nothing to do with nobody. Nothing. Y'all need to be telling these little boys how to treat girls. How not to touch on girls. How not just because if a girl got on a mini skirt, that's not an invitation for you to go and grab her ass. Or because she got her titties out, that's not an invitation for you to go grab her titty. Y'all worried about the wrong motherfucking thing. These niggas walking around here. I, I had a conversation with somebody at my job. And I was like, these niggas walking around here, 40 and 50, wearing Timberland boots and fitted hats and t-shirts and jeans, Jay-Z, all these motherfuckers, and don't nobody say nothing. Don't nobody say nothing. These grown-ass men walking around here, looking old as fuck, dressed in like they 23 and 24, and don't nobody say shit. But let a Keisha K. O. walk out or a Bernice Burgos or whoever, the, whatever these girls are, and they got on something skimpy. Baby, the whole world go crazy. But that's a grown ass woman. And what is she doing to you? The only reason, if you want to just put it out there, the only reason why you bothered at what she got on, because you know your nigga ain't shit. And you'll know, you know your nigga gonna probably try to holler at that bitch who dressed like Keisha K. Or. Your nigga been cheating on you. You know your nigga been cheating on you. You know your nigga ain't shit. So your insecurities are not put on this other woman who, who you don't even know. Ah, uh, because you know your nigga ain't shit, and you know that's the type of bitch your, your your nigga gonna try to holler at when you turn your motherfucking back. It ain't got nothing to do with she got her own. Truly. Like, ugh. I'm so happy I'm a man, cause baby, if I was a woman, baby, I'd be fucking y'all up. But y'all can tell me shit, bitch. I'm grown. Been grown. And just because you uncomfortable, just because your man told you you can't wear what you want to wear, don't mean that my man gonna tell me shit. He made me dressing like this. 
And if I choose to start wearing turtlenecks and, and blue jeans, then I will. But until then, I'm going to wear what the fuck I want to wear. If you meet someone dressing and acting a certain way, you cannot then try and change up the rules. You can't. It don't work that way. Or it shouldn't work that way. It's one thing if you meet a girl and she's dressing, you know, covered up, covered up. And then all of a sudden she changed the rules on you. And then she, you know, walking around here dressing like Tommy from Love and Hip Hop. I can see how that could be a problem. Like, hold up. That's not what I was going for. I wanted someone a little bit more conservative. But y'all go out and y'all get with these, getting with these strippers. Y'all getting with the girls who like to dress sexy. And now all of a sudden there's an issue and it's a problem. Girl, fuck these niggas and fuck y'all too, girl. Because the truth of the matter is, Shab, not y'all. But, you know what I mean, girl, some of y'all who think like that, girl, I'm sorry, girl. But, girl, y'all not, I, I just don't think it's right how, like, some of y'all just take this, oh, you need to dress like a wife. Like, what does a wife, honestly, what does a wife dress like? What does a mother dress like? What message are you sending to your children by saying you have to dress like this because now you got a man? Do you really honestly think that just because you dress a certain way that now all of a sudden your kids gonna look at you like, oh, well, mommy dresses this way, so I'm gonna dress the same way. Baby, the same way you was being a hoe before you met your baby daddy, before you met your man, it's a good chance your daughter might have some hoeish ways too. And ain't nothing wrong with that. We all done had hoeish ways. I'm just saying. In conclusion, I ain't think nothing was wrong with what Candy had on. I ain't think nothing was wrong with what none of those girls had on. They all grown. They can do what the fuck they want to do. Y'all worry about the wrong thing. <laughs> you worried about what Candy got on. But I bet your man went to like the picture though. How about that? Y'all worried about what Candy and Delicious and everybody else got on. But your niggas liking those pictures. And that's true too.